I can keep rockfish, so that's how you do it. I was about to give the fishing speech, but what do you got? Either a black rockfish or a yellow eye rockfish. Oh gosh, eating it on the yes, way down. I can't even jig it. They're just smoking it on the way down. So get you three blacks, and then we'll leave the last one for a yellow eye. Or if you catch a yellow eye on your first drop, that's good too. So you're allowed three. Black so you're allowed rockfish. four rock. There he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, so you're allowed four rockfish. Oh, I got a quill back. What? So there's another species of rockfish right there. So that one goes against my list. So he's a considered a non-pelagic. So in the state of Alaska, you get one non-pelagic per person, and then either four pelagics, which is a black rockfish, or you get a non-pelagic and then three pelagics. So this guy is called a quillback. As you can see, he's got quills on his back. Mm -hmm. They're pretty creative with their names. <laughs> And this guy's actually really hardy. You don't even have to, so you don't got a deep water release him or nothing. These are the toughest guys out here. Bye-bye. Cool. Yeah, you don't got a deep water release him or nothing. There he is. Oh, that's a good that's one. That's a good fish. It just stopped the jig. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh it came off. Pulled off. I got a really big jig, so it's got to be a big fish to eat it and to get hooked. This is fun. Just like back home. Oh, there he is on bottom. Come on, baby, stay glued, stay glued. Uh huh. That's like a ling. Yeah. So wings. As big as fish they are, you'll actually when you hook them, they'll do a few head shakes, and that's it. Then they're dead weight. Like a lizard fish. Basically a lizard. My whole like concept of Alaska has completely changed. I didn't think we were going to be doing any artificial. I thought it was all going to be bait. This is fun. It's just so much more interactive when you can actually like physically hold the rod and do something, you know? I don't know. Catching a fish on a dead salmon is also pretty cool. That's pretty epic <laughs> as well. Wow, it's pretty easy, huh? That's pretty easy. Easy when you got the good spots. Ooh. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Big oh. yellow. Yellow white rockfish. Yellow. Look at the fish. things he spit up. Yep. That's a little needle fish and stuff. Ooh, baby. Look at this thing. Oh. Holy moly. Oh, we got water on one. Okay, hold on. I got one question for you, Garrett. How old do you think this that fish, fish is? is? Probably anywhere from 40 to 60 years. Isn't that insane? So rockfish, like we learned on our last trip to California, are one of the oldest growing fish in the ocean. Look at this thing. Would you ever think that you'd catch this in Alaska? Big this, bright gold. Yeah, gold this fish. this looks like it should live on like the Great Barrier Reef or in the Keys or something. So beautiful. You got that yellow eye. Kind of looks like um, a like a fish. yellow eye snapper or, or like a big goldfish. That's, it, a, that's it, the joke up here. This is what happens when you flush your goldfish down the toilets and it goes to the ocean. They get giant. They get giant and get a lot bigger. So Very now you've rugged. Caught two fish in Alaska, a giant halibut of this. <laughs> and a giant yellow eye. These things get big too, yeah, right? So that's, that's, anyway, that's probably about 10 to 12. Oh crap. Ah. Oh, I missed them. So that's about probably 10, 11, 10, 11 pounds. And the world record's 38. 38. So imagine four of those. Yeah, that's big. Look All at right, his let's spine. Take, let's take Look at his spine. So Very actually, cool fish. So they got spines right there, all along the gill plate. They got one right there, one on each one of these, on his eye socket. Look at his, I mean, his peck fin is huge too. They're kind of like, all the rockfish on the west coast are, I would say, a hybrid of like a snapper meets a grouper. Mm -hmm. Mouth like a grouper, pectoral fins like a grouper, body like a grouper. Yeah, this, this actually kind of looks like a bright orange red grouper like we got. All right, guys, so we just got our limit of yellow eye rockfish. I got one, Ricky got one, and Derek got one, and it's one per person per day. So we could probably just keep on catching them, but they don't have a very good release rate. You don't really want to catch deep water fish and release them because you got to skin hook them. Their air bladder blows up, and it's just not best practice. So we're going to leave these guys alone, go target a different rockfish species now. So we'll catch you guys out there. So this New is species. the first black rockfish. Black rock. This is a pelagic, so we can get three of these a piece. Does not look like a pelagic. Yeah. <laughs> when we think of pelagic, we think wahoo, dolphin, sailfish. Send that, send that down. 
I'm converted. I'm West Coast style right now. Ever since that Cali trip, I'm left under the armpit. Oh, yeah. This one's actually pulling a little bit. It might have a leak. Yeah? Like a, like a small one. I dropped down uh, that big grub that you guys saw earlier with the halibut. I dropped down a mini version of it. And I'm tight. All the California boys are very happy right now. The rod is under the left armpit. This is a big no-no on the East Coast. Is it? Yeah, on the West Coast, all you West Coast guys, it's all left armpit, oh, isn't it? We West Coast guys, I'm from Texas. <laughs> yeah, but when you're in Alaska, you're in Al Whoa! Ooh. You think? It's way too heavy to be a rockfish. I got this line. I'm either over or under. Oh, it's a big, Looks big over, we're over it. Now you're fine. Under it, just like that. Yep, air blower blue. That's a jumbo nice right black. there. black. Smoke the jig. Look at that thing. Guys, look at this thing. A grandpa home? My first ever black rockfish on the grub, right here. It's just, the fishery here is just insane. It seems like everywhere you go, obviously you gotta know what you're doing. There's just fish everywhere. Black rockfish here, halibut there, yellow eye rockfish. It's like a largemouth bass had a baby with a grouper, kind of. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Very dense fish. Bricky just got a black rockfish, very similar size to this. So we got two really nice ones, um, two more rockfish, and then we have our pelagic limit. So you got the yellow eye rockfish, which is not a pelagic rockfish species, and then you have types of pelagics, which you can catch three of. Well, you could keep three of. I didn't even get that on video. Gotta kiss them. Yellow eyes that we got with off the dock. Much more familiar to play for us than a halibut is. Similar to a snapper grouper. Break through these pin bones right here. Oh yeah. I think this is the most familiar fish to something like our mutton snapper. There we go, look at that. That's real pretty neat. We gotta do the cheeks on these two. Super stoked to be playing all these Alaska fish. Just played my first halibut. And now, the first yellow white rockfish. And all this fish is gonna be taken home. You guys see, we took a lot of stuff home, but there's this place called J Dock right here. They process your fish, they vacuum seal them, they clean them up real nice for you, and then Brooke and I are gonna take them home on the plane with us in the nice insulated cardboard box. So, catch you guys back in the kitchen. All right, guys, we just got back to our cabin and we get to cook fish in the woods. But first, a little cheers to my babe. We haven't tried this yet. No? We've been trying to try a bunch of local stuff, so. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to you guys back home. Oh yeah. Mm, good. That hits the spot. So it's kind of like, it's like I have a car behind me and I'm about to say it's kind of like camping with a cabin behind me but like there's no sink or anything like that so we're sleeping in a cabin but we're cooking on a grill so kind of like camping we're a little bit. We're glamping as they call it. We're glamping that's for sure but there's also no sink so we also don't have paper plates we have plastic silverware I mean plastic plates but we have to clean it somehow so that should be interesting. There's this really cool local company it's called Alaskan they make a bunch of seltzers and beers and We've been enjoying it. Definitely neat to, you know, try something in the region that we don't have back home. So, like I said, cheers to you guys back home. So, on tonight's menu. So, this is the yellow eye rockfish. And these, I'm so excited to try. These are halibut cheeks. Look at these. It honestly looks like a scallop, as everyone was saying back at the dock. So, we're going to be eating like kings tonight. It we looks got like our, a lot of fish. <laughs> it does, but I, we're going to eat it all, for sure. 
So the place that we got our fish processed, most people, you know, you got to think you're in Alaska. You go out there and you slay it, but you want to bring a lot of fish home for your family. We're going to give so much fish away to neighbors. We already have 90 pounds of fish, which is two big boxes. So tons of family dinners coming soon. Going to feed the whole neighborhood. And where we got it is actually at J-Docs. So this is a cool little local seafood rub. I'm always about trying new things. So, and I remember rockfish being very flaky. So it's not a fish you want to put directly on the grill because it would fall apart on you. Get rid of this scale. It'll be bear food later. And look at that luscious halibut cheek. So that's the difference in the size of a 12 pound halibut versus like a 70 pound halibut in terms of the cheeks. We're gonna hit it with this stuff. It looks like a, your typical blackened seasoning. You got oregano, paprika, thyme. What else is in here? Black peppercorn, sea salt, garlic, fennel seed, oregano, chives, brown sugar, ancho chili. Mm, smells delicious. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Might be a new uh, contender to Chef Paul's. It smells very similar to it. It smells sweeter and herbier. Okay. Everyone's favorite part. We're gonna hit it with some butter. Good quality butter. Some Irish butter, some Kerrygold. Some butter for you. You know most of it's gonna roll off. Okay, so now we make our boat, right? So now we're gonna wrap it. Oh yeah, baby. And all that is just gonna steam in there and it's gonna be oh so delicious. You probably should take like, let's say five to eight minutes. The grill's pretty cranking. And I think that wrapping them definitely gonna cook them faster. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm real excited. And then you can't beat the scenery. We were just in the ocean, enjoying all the mountains and everything. Now we're in the mountains. And I mean, you guys see, it's just luscious and green and so peaceful. You can't hear anything but birds and the sound of this grill and that butter in a little bit. So fish has been in for like a minute and a half and just listen to this. You can already hear the butter crackling and that just steam cooking the fish. Dom, look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that steam. Holy smokes. I'm excited. I want to do a little spritz of lemon. Seeds and all, baby. Can I go? Go for it. Oh, that flake though. Cold water Alaskan rockfish, huh? That's very good. Look at how these, they were like round and look at how they changed shape. The halibut cheeks? Is that interesting? Mm -hmm. Wow. Which one you like more? Completely different texture. Like they said, it's like a scallop. It's like a completely different texture. It's firmer? Mm-hmm. Yep. Less flaky. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can. And that fish didn't cook long. It was that in there for five, six minutes. Interesting. There's just something about, I don't know what it is, but something about cold water fish. Anytime we have cold water fish, whether it's in New England, Alaska, or California, different tastes, different texture. They just got like a sweetness to them. They're just so good. I mean, these rockfish just have like the perfect medium flake 
rockfish, delicious. Very excited to try this halibut. Oh yeah. Totally different. That's a Vicks fish. That's the texture I like. Love the rockfish, but this halibut cheek, this is some of the best stuff I ever had. I, it's, it's a much firmer texture. It's like you're eating a scallop without the scallop flavor. It's like a fish flavored scallop. It really is. So we just had both the little halibut cheek and the big halibut cheek. The little halibut comparison, way more tender. Kind of like veal. Like the smaller an animal is generally, the less musculature, the less uh, tough it's gonna be. Everything here is just absolutely delicious. Um, I'm having the time of my life in Alaska. I know Bricky's having the time of her life. Huge shout out to Garrett, off the dock charters, Johnny, everyone who made this trip possible. Killer crew, killer boat, had an amazing time, caught so many different species, and we're just taking it all in. And not just, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I want you to remember that none of this would be possible without your guys' support. So thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Check out Off The Dock Charters and we'll see you in the next one.